All I wanted was 25 square miles of land, valued at $100 million, given to me for free. Is that too much to ask? I'll say it again. Voodoo is still an option. No. It's over. They won. Everything is changing. This town is going to be unrecognizable in 10 years. Even JJ's diner is disappearing. What can I get you guys? However many waffles it takes to keep you in business. I'm happy with some of the changes that Pawnee has gone through. I mean, the standard of living is up. We have pressed juice bars and yoga studios and a pet hotel. But I think the town is losing some of its charm. And there's too much kale now. One place asked me if I wanted kale in my milkshake. My milkshake, you guys. Even though I'm a firm believer in the free market and your failure as a businessman is ultimately to blame, it's still a travesty your diner is closing. Well, I agree with you, but the guy who bought the property didn't even give me a chance to re-up the lease. You can't win them all. No, enough is enough. They may have taken that land, but I will be damned if they take my waffles. JJ. What, is something wrong? No, nothing is ever wrong here. That's why we are gonna fight hard to save your diner. Now, you said your new landlord didn't give you a chance to counter. Who is it? It was a company with a weird sounding name. Uh, hang on. Was it Putin? Voldemort Putin of Russia? I'd love to take that bastard down. Here it is, Thigh Gap, LLC. Owner, Dennis Feinstein. The cologne guy? Oh, figures, that guy's the worst. Okay, we are gonna take him down with an old-fashioned public rally. April, I need you to get the word out with whatever method of communication young people are using these days. Oh, yeah, tiny rolled-up scrolls delivered by trained foxes. I'm on it. Andy, you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, hell yeah, blimp time. No, I think this is a job for Jonathan Karate. Awesome, even better. Ron, what do you say? Dynamic duo get together one more time to try to save JJ's diner? I can't think of anything more noble to go to war over than bacon and eggs. Here, here. Oh, well. We'll keep practicing. Oh, we're not gonna take it. All right, everybody, listen up. We're here today because JJ's diner has been a part of Pawnee for 41 years. And this man right here built that diner from the ground up with his own two hands. That's not true. It's called constructing a narrative, JJ. You stick to the breakfast, I'll deal with the politics. So now, let's hear from a man who knows the value of things staying the same, Ron Swanson. I do not like rallies. And based on what I see from this vantage point, I do not like most of you. What I do like is breakfast food. JJ's has very good breakfast food, so it should remain open. Please do not approach me on the street after this event and attempt to talk to me. Our similarities begin and end with this single issue. Ron Swanson. <laughs>